Very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived today in Egypt at the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to head Bahrain's delegation to the first Arab-European summit which will be held in Sharm el-Sheikh Sunday. His Majesty was received by the Prime Minister of Egypt, Dr. Mustafa Medbouli, Ambassador of Bahrain to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman al Khalifa, and a number of senior officials. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the strong historic relations between Bahrain and Egypt and the regional and international role of Egypt, led by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi in hosting the first Arab-European summit, which forms an opportunity to discuss means of granting a safe future for the people. His Majesty affirmed that this summit is based on a solid foundation of strategic partnerships between Arab and European countries and reflects its keenness on facing political, economic and safety challenges and affirms its desire to achieve prosperity for its people through promoting cooperative work and developing means of cooperation between Arab and European countries. He noted that he is positive that this summit will form a foundation for a new phase of cooperation and partnerships on all levels with the efforts and potentials to aid the achievement of aspirations and shift the course of relations in a way that serves common interests. Earlier, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left for Egypt today at the invitation of the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi to head Bahrain's delegation to the first Arab European summit, which will be held in Sharm el Sheikh Sunday. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa bid His Majesty the King farewell at the Sakhir Air Base. Upon directives from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and under the patronage of His Majesty the King's representative for charity work and youth affairs, Board of Trustees, Chairman of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, RCO Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid Al Amin, inaugurated the Bahrain Model Health Center in Egypt. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended deepest thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, RCO's honorary president, for his noble stances and sound directives to deliver humanitarian assistance and implement development projects that contribute to supporting broadly and friendly countries. His Highness Sheikh Nasser lauded the efforts exerted by President Sisi to enhance joint Arab action and provide all potentials to facilitate the implementation of the joint Bahrain-Egyptian humanitarian project. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also praised the unlimited support enjoyed by RCO from the government led by His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and backed by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince, Deputy Spring Commander and First Deputy Premier. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that the joint Bahrain-Egyptian projects reflect the depth of bilateral relations, valuing highly the efforts of the public and private institutions in Egypt. Dr. Sayyid, RCO Secretary General, extended heartfelt thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad for his kind humanitarian gesture represented in the pioneering health monument lauding the support of the government to RCO and praising His Highness Sheikh Nasser's efforts in support of humanitarian and sustainable development projects. Bahrain's ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, lauded His Majesty the King's directives to implement development and humanitarian projects that serve humanity, praising the efforts of the government and His Highness Sheikh Nasser in this regard. Under the patronage and in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Club for Equestrian and Horse Racing organized the 17th race meeting of the session yesterday at the race course in Sakhir. It was held for the cups of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, Sheikh Shima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His 
زانة الشيخ محمد بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة and زانة الشيخ حمدان بن ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة. Also present were the deputy chairman of the Iraqi Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, his Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Sultan Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Nader bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and horse racing fans. At the end of the race, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented the cups to the winners. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa underlined his keenness to support the efforts and development mean steps taken by the Supreme Council of Rajd Equestrian and Horse Racing Club under the chairmanship of Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to promote the sports of horse racing in the kingdom. His Highness expressed his happiness with the organizational success of the horse race, which was held for the cups of his sons, Her Royal Highness, Sheikh Hashima bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hamad bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Zana Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praising the efforts exerted in order to successfully organize this race and improve the sports of horse racing in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa lauded the levels and comp competitions witnessed by the race which reflected the development of horse racing and the efforts of horse owners and the great preparations of the various stables wishing them continued luck and success.
Under the patronage of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, Azhan Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the second edition of the strongest Bahraini man championship titled Be a Beast started in Bahrain International Circuit. Azhan has praised the wide participation the children's category and accompanying competitions witnessed and affirmed that this championship will promote the spirit of challenge, which has a positive effect on encouraging youth on practicing sports. His Highness asserted that this championship comes within the framework of providing an environment that supports youth of all ages and to discover talents amongst participants which comes in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to create an athletic generation capable of joining local and national teams. His Highness allocated the proceeds of the championship to support cancer patients which comes as part of his initiative to support humans and sports. His Highness awarded His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the winners of the children's competitions, which witnessed a large number of participants. Also, Abdurrahman Sadak Asker awarded the first place winners in the adults competition category. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today attended the Kingdom of Bahrain Arabian Saluki show which was held under his patronage at the Endurance Village in Zalag. The Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa also attended the show. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed underscored His Majesty the King's efforts in preserving Bahrain's rich cultural heritage and national identity, particularly in the field of heritage sports. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed praised participating pet owners for displaying an extraordinary range of Talents. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed then toured all aspects of the event that attracted wide local and regional participation and featured dog pigeons. His Highness then presented awards to the owners of the winning Salukis.
The delegation of the parliamentary division headed by the House of Representatives, Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, participated in the 29th Conference of the Arab Interparliamentary Union and the Affiliated Committee's meetings under the theme Jerusalem, the Eternal Capital of Palestine. The conference is held in Amman, the Jordanian capital, from the 27th of February to the 4th of March to discuss the Charter of the Union, Terrorism and Women and Children's Law. Zainal noted that the theme of the conference represents the importance of the current circumstances Palestine is going through and the practices of the Israeli occupation which are a violation of customs, traditions and religions and requires Arab cooperation to stop this escalation in the occupied territories. She stressed the need to protect the rights of the people and supported to establish an independent state on the borders of the 1967 in East Jerusalem which represents Bahrain's firm stunt regarding the Palestinian cause. In response to the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop urgent solutions to ease traffic flow across the kingdom, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning has completed construction works to develop Avenue 41 between 4109 and 4103 in the Oasa Town's Educational District. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, noted that the project being worked on is is in line with the framework that aims to achieving Bahrain's economic vision of 2030. The number of vehicles using the current street reach 10,000 per day in both directions at a rate of 2,000 vehicles per hour during peak times. The improvement works will double the intake capacity of the street and increase by traffic flow by 70%. The development of Avenue 41 is part of the government's comprehensive program of improvements to the roads within the educational district. These projects constitute part of the comprehensive development plan to develop the kingdom's transport network launched by the ministry last year. The roadworks are expected to further develop Bahrain's road network, ongoing urbanization, residential development projects and exponential population growth.